there's an argument going around that, well, it has been going around for a while, before the local government election, the argument was timed to, fill, to fit into the, the narrative going forward for the, for the campaign in the local government elections, well, mark general elections. And that narrative is Mark and Peter Bond didn't agree that um that Mark now talked to Peter Bond and I'm not uh, advice from him and I'm not involved in the thing. You know, Peter Bond didn't take a back seat because I'm not involved in the thing. You know, Mark not taking no advice from him. You know, <laughs> there there was that argument. There is still that argument. Um, which is why I need to, to talk about it a bit, you know. Hello everyone, Karen Cecilia here. I trust everyone is well. I trust everyone is having a, a good evening and the children are safe and I'm um, getting ready to go back to school on Monday. And um, Jesus is alive and sitting at the right hand of God. And, you know, we just trust him and believe in him and all will be well. That's all it takes. Believe me when I tell you that. Trust him, have faith, believe in him and all will be well because he is Jesus Christ, the son of God. So, when the party, the NEC, the secretary, whatever, whoever announced it, when they announced that thing, that Damien get in Northwest St. Catherine, and they must send Dayton, Cambridge, and Luther seat, and they must send Bunting, and South Manchester. When they announced that, it wasn't a surprise to me. It wasn't a surprise. I was not surprised that they and they did what they did in terms of how they announced it. They couldn't just announce that they must send Dayton going away, and they couldn't just announce that they must send Peter Bunting going away. They have to announce it with Damian. And I gather that they have um, incorporated Damian now into them larger plans. And probably Damian didn't even know that yet, but you, you incorporated, boss. You just don't know it yet. You don't know what your role will be yet. But you are incorporated and you're going to play a role in some something, <laughs> whatever that's going to be. But anyway, about two days after the, that announcement, or two or three days, maybe even four days after that announcement, um, somebody said to me, Boy, the NEC, and the NEC, you know, said the one working get up. And adamantly same adamantly against Bunting. I said, What? I said, Yeah, man. You might the only one to get up. I said, I'm, I'm against Bunting getting a seat. I'm against Bunting him going up, went on with all kinds of I can't imagine because I've seen him perform time and time again. So I can't imagine him. I'm a go on and I'm a quote some big things and I go about principles and objectives. This lying piece of crap. You know, we use principles and objectives at him all with at him, his own whim and fancy. I can't imagine. And I remember that I thought earlier that at some point in this game, because they know how people out here feel about Peter Mercat Bunting, at some point in this game, they are going to set it up to say that Bunting not involved in the day-to-day -day activities and bunting not involved with nothing and him not advising Mark and so said so done. I tell you, all I know when I tell someone can't go and say so now. When I can't go and say me to tell you so. Because some of the risers, well, you know the risers, you know PMP people who support the risers then because you know have to live. I understand that. I said it to a number of people that they will soon play that card. It is a card that them have to play. They have to find a way to separate bunting from Mark in order to get some people on board. And they did. They announced a the seat. Paul Burke get up and make nice about the seat so that the narrative would, would go around say, Paul Burke did object to Bunting. So Paul Burke and Bunting ain't nothing. And Mark and Bunting not together anymore. That's basically the argument. Then the argument became more potent when some people who were resisting and I'm not necess and I'm not pointing any fingers at um, any particular set of people. Certainly not the last lot, not the lot that beating up the, the, the resistance and chatting crap. But there were some people that in the resistance still is. But they had called and they had 
spoken to me, them speak, they spoke to many, many people, resistance leaders, they spoke to a number of people, and their argument was basically this, them going to support them candidate, whoever that candidate is. I said to myself when they started doing that, that I guess the candidates that they are going to support are risers, are candidates that were installed, but some of them assured me that these candidates were selected, but I assured them without any with a, in an instant, I assure them, listen, whatever I don't need for you to go and do it. If you have a candidate and you think he's going to serve you or serve your community well, and you are going to support him, you don't need to discuss that with nobody. You don't owe nobody no apology, no, 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 no explanation, no discussion. Just go and support your candidate. Nobody cares if I'm going to support your candidate. I wouldn't stop anybody from going to support any candidate. I wouldn't beat up nobody from going to support any candidate that they want to go support. But there were a number of resistance. And then there were others who just secretly and quietly, like worms, behave like risers before them go join the rising. Um, then the sneak way and them gone. And you don't see them and you don't hear from them and you just know where them depend. And my argument to everybody when everybody when they bring it up in any other discussions, I say leave them. Let, let them be. Let them go, they want to support a candidate. They want to support a candidate. But I gave them another argument. I said to them that those people who were resisting are now rising high. They are risers now. Those people never belong in the resistance in the first place. And I don't say that with any kind of um, rancor or any kind, in any kind of bad way. I, I don't say that. It's not a bad way what I'm saying. It. You, are, you are in the resistance because... You, you don't really know what go on. You see some things about the WhatsApp leak. You don't like how Mark are go on. You don't like how them treat Lisa. You don't like how them treat Paul. Well, you don't like how everybody are go on. Say this, it champ and the resistance thing. You never understood it. You never understood what it was about. You never understand what is the principle and the foundation base on the resistance. You were just there. And we welcome everybody who was there. And so you all quietly, some of you quietly left to support um, whoever you want to support. And then, when it was all over, some of you also quietly came back and quietly having conversation to say that um, um, you never going to support Mark. Um, you were to support a candidate. But, but you know, and Mark never did so bad. And then when, we, uh, when argument hit you, you back up yourself and you're, and you're speechless because you're buying everything that them selling you in there. And then, then a strange thing happened. A number of them started saying, I'm bunting not involved anymore. I'm not, not taking advice from bunting anymore. That was a strange thing that happened. Mark not taking advice from bunting. Bunting not in there anymore. Them a sideline bunting. And I listen to these people. And I think to myself, and I go back in my headspace, I'm going to say, okay, this person have a degree in that. This person have a bachelor's degree in that. This person went to that Tara the school. That the person went to Tara. That, well, honey, them people are really go school. At to draw bricks, because clearly they don't understand any of it. But I understand them. I do. I understand all of them. I understand the desire for them party to win because that is what they, um, we have become accustomed to. That is what we is ingrained in us, that our party must be in power. Because our party, the parties exist to, for state power. And even those who have never benefited from the party in power felt the same way, still feel the same way, that they want the party in power. They don't know why, you know. Or some of them do know why. Some of them know they can go check a minister. Because, you know, the GLP ministers, they don't really help nobody. They don't help PMP people. I don't know no, jump, jump, no GLP minister will help no ordinary PMP people. GLP minister hardly talk to PMP people. Them probably help the big week PMP them. But me know them not help the PMP people. Certainly nobody not help me. Well, well, <laughs> me not call nobody, you know. But I mean, me not say nobody should help me. Well, let me take that, man. Let me, let, let, let me back that up. Except the only minister that I have, that I myself have, have been in contact with in a positive way is Minister Babsy Grange. You know, I can, if I call Minister Green, she, would, she answers me, she answers my text message, and, and, and she would respond to me, and it usually in a positive way. So, she, so she's the only minister that, that I know that I can talk to uh, about um, anything.
But nobody not giving me nothing. Nobody not asking me nothing. Nobody not offering you nothing. And you, you're afraid to ask. Me talk very candidly. You're afraid to ask. You're truly afraid to ask. Because you're afraid that you might get eject, rejected. You're afraid that they might not help you. And you know, some things are going on some ministry. I really love to speak to the minister and ask him how you can access that. But people are afraid. Well, I certainly afraid to do that. I not tell a lie. I'm afraid. Some things happen, but I say, oh, and this announced some things the other day, and I'm going to find out how we can access that. I'm going to guide some people how they can access that. You know? And my own small business to access that. But that is a fact of life. The GLP ministers, them are um, out, of, out of access range for most ordinary PNP people. And this is not beating up the GLP ministers, them, because I suspect it's the same thing when PNP in power for some ordinary GLP people can can access anything either you know my own experience is that that is not so quite frankly my own experience is that uh, GLP people certainly and I can only speak for my community and my constituency access things when PMP in power no doubt no lie back to school Christmas all of that everybody no business if they are labor right or what some work run you get two of them something you know so that's how this thing works but that is just, anyway let me not go off into all of that because that's not what they, this is about so, when them start talking about Bunting and Mark not together anymore, Bunting and Mark divorce, Bunting and Mark left, Bunting and Mark the pan hiatus, Bunting and Mark vex with them one another, Bunting and Mark, Mark, Bunt, Mark not take no advice from Bunting. So, let me set something straight for all of you who have up that argument. Some of them are really good thinking people. I don't know when you get caught up. In this, in this foolishness where people can just tell you things, I want to just believe it immediately. I want to don't question it. I want to don't think about it. I tell you all the way. Don't believe nothing. I tell you no. Go think it through and see if it makes sense to you. When I say anything, just think it through. See if it makes any sense to you. Make a decision from that. And if you do have the time and feel a man, go investigate some things, research some things. And think it through for yourself and make your own decision. But here's my thought process. Maybe about two or three weeks before the, about two weeks before the, the NEC meeting, Paul Burke and Bunting and all of them meet. And they met and they decided on the strategy. Maybe they did. I'm just conjecturing here. And they, they just said that, all right. We have to make sure we start sideline bunting now and make it seem like we're sidelining bunting because there are some people in, in the PMP who are not not number we know not with bunting and we need to demonstrate to them that Mark, you know, is, is him own man doing him own thing. And so they cook up this thing. They cook up this thing about giving Peter Bunting the seat and having Paul Burke. You know, there was a time in the PMP's history or the PMP's um array of NEC meetings and conferences where if you want something to have some credibility in terms of what you're doing then they would call on Paul Burke to get up and say something. That those days gone long long time. Paul Burke is just a thief in liar, wicked criminal mind and, and everybody now know him for what he is. So therefore whenever he gets up to say anything nobody listens to Burke. Nobody takes anything he says seriously. Nobody no give him no respect. Nobody no respect for nothing he say and do. Certainly not in NEC meetings and, and conference. Me not ask a question about that. Me can lay my life on that. Nobody listens to Paul Burke. Nobody have any respect for anything he has to say. Everybody knows what his agenda is. Everybody knows that he would have absolutely no power in the PMP if Mark Golden wasn't president. None. And he would get up at NEC and party conference and chat all the crap with him, chat and everybody sit down and laugh and a snicker and look at him like an old mad scientist. You know? So no one don't no, no really pay Burke no mind. But when I heard that he got up in that NEC and said that adamantly against Bunting getting South Manchester, I said, aha, uh aha, -huh. uh -huh. all right, things falling in place now, the games have begun. Because this is the narrative they want to sell to some people. And they want to sell it to some big people too. Not just the ordinary folks on the ground. 
it was designed for some particular set of people some big man some big woman some people in some high places and some people in some medium-sized places the low the lower level people them really don't give a crap what we think you know it was designed for a group of people you know to say yo we don't want to like bunting so guess what Mark now take no advice from him again. We are not burnt. get up at the NEC and say him against him getting South Manchester. I don't really believe that. I don't really, really believe that Mark and Bunting divorce. Because if we don't believe that, who don't believe anything? Who don't believe that Mark now take advice from Bunting? The long friends from them leave college. Mark at Oxford, bunting down by McGill in Canada, Mark's at, Mark at Oxford in, in England, and they left and they went into business together. There is no business that bunting has that Mark is not a partner. There is no business that Mark involving that bunting is not his partner. They are peas in a pod to the extent that bunting has, bunting had the delegates um, in, in, in 2020. He had the delegates and him just tell everybody, say, it's Mark. We put forward Mark. Remember Jimmy said it? When him called Bunting and asked Bunting, won't I go with Mark? Bunting said, don't worry, man. Don't worry about that, man. When you see Mark, you see me. When you see me, you see Mark. I am Mark, and Mark is me. Remember? Jimmy said that. So that Bunting tell him? How will you come to the conclusion that Bunting not involved in nothing? Is bunting sure? What is wrong with you? It is all bunting's sure. This is bunting's sure. This is bunting movie. This is bunting play. Mark is just a pawn in a bunting's play. He is just a pawn because bunting now no see it. Bunting lose him see it. Bunting know that nobody no like him. Bunting know that it may be difficult for him to insert back himself into the political psyche of, of, of the Jamaican people. It not going end nicely for him. Anyway, I'm going him likely to lose because people just don't like him. And he might spend a piece but load of money for win back a seat and that still won't make people like him. His likability factor is way, way, the likability factor where Bunting is concerned is way, 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 way low down. Prior to 2019, Bunting was liked, kind of, somewhat. I liked him. Yes, I did. I mean, sometimes I really think I still do in some respect. I am just being honest here. Sometimes I still, I, I, I think I still, I still like Bunting to some, in some respect, you know. But, but his likability is in the dumps. So I don't know how he's going to resurrect that to come do anything. So the whole want to believe this argument that Mark and Bunting left. That Mark used a Bunting have girl with him and him left him. Or Bunting used a Mark have girl with him and him left him. Or maybe Mark used a Bunting have boy and him besides him and leave him. You don't know what happened. That's the argument them sell you know. And who know, like the buffoon who is, buying it. I mean, serious people, who have know serious people I walk around and say, No nah, man, Bunting no you nothing. Oh man, Bunting no you this man. Them sideline him and him be one side. Bunting the one side. At any see meeting, Bunting there at the back. Sit down. I observe things. <laughs> no, no, really, really sap, you know. The whole out of saps. I do really believe that Bunting. Who, remember, you know, the people them around Mark is not Mark people, you know. Mark now no people. Mark had never had any people. Mark there, South St. Andrew and him have Sierra them. And the South St. Andrew crew, Mark not have nobody else. Mark not have a soul. The people around Mark are Bunting's people. Angela Brownberg is Bunting's proxy. She is there to direct Mark. Make sure Mark does the things that he's supposed to do and don't um, um, move away from the don't move away from the original plan and the original plot. And whatever it is them planning to do, them, her job is to make sure that Mark stay the course, so to speak. Stay the full course and don't um, fall off of the line. So, Bunting and Mark still there. Just in case, you know, you know, wonder. And every week, every week religiously, Mark, Bunting, Dayton Campbell, 
and he and heels meet every week, once a week. Them don't involve Angela in that. That's not Angela thing. That's a fiddle man thing because Angela is just a a pawn right now in the whole thing. She, her job is to help Mark hang on. Because I'm sure that we lick down Mark so much time. There are days when Mark won't go in yard. I'm sure of it. I mean, I ask somebody if they are not those days. I, I know the human behavior so well. And I study Mark so well. That I know that there are some days when we lick him down flat. And him, we, and him don't want to wake up out of bed. Him don't want to put on a clothes. Him don't want to go away. Maybe some man in the mall ball. Who to tell? But we know we lick him down sometimes that him literally cry and no matter what. Continue. Angela's role is to make sure he continues. And so, she have to carry out for her role. And her husband's role is to back she up. Him have no other role except the role him have now. And him run the secretariat. And him in charge of the future international scammer, Dexroy Martin. And um, them in charge of themselves. Everybody around them is disposable everybody around them is disposable nobody is non-disposable everybody is there for a particular reason and when they fulfill those tasks and fulfill what they're supposed to do and carry out it's just them key group when left standing so you better understand that. You don't have to believe me either, because I'm a nitwit. Yeah. You know, don't believe nothing, me say. You know, don't believe it. Just cipher it out to the self. They know what they are doing. They are still in the process of trying to control the PMP. Because they have they, they have not gotten control of the PMP. They have control of the PMP leadership. But in terms of the PMP ground game and ground operation and ground people, they have absolutely no control. The PMP base basically tell them to go suck them mama on February 26, 2024. Yeah, that's what the PMP base did. Whole heap of PMP base. Who tell them something go away? We don't know. We know who it is. And we don't take the crap from them now. So, Mark and Bunting still the man. Mark and Bunting still... Together. And Mark is there to carry out Bunting's little pipe dream because he's unable to do so now. You see, if Bunting was loved by the PMP in general, including those inside there that him can command and stuff, not even them that love him. But if Bunting was even liked a little bit by the PMP people, them, he would not be able to be in there. If he was liked a little bit by the big man them and the big woman them across the country, he would have been able to in there uh, bark orders like when he bark the orders the night when them expel me, when him say, oh, we're not taking no um, suspension. We're expelling her. If he have them kind of power there. Like, like when he had that time. He not had that again, you know. He can't show up in face no way in there because once him, once him show up in face and start show up in power, People are once again start back off. And people will once again start show my bad face. So they have to maintain a certain a certain level of um seemingly good relations, particularly with the with the authentic PMP people that I'm in there. And for that to happen, Bunting have to take a back seat. But they are not divorced, man. Two of them having um extramarital relationships outside of the marriage, but you know. <laughs> the two of them seeing other people. <laughs> But them still there. They meet once a week and um, body body up and put them plans into you know, your dating and Mark and Bunting and Ian Hills. Just for them. Meet once a week. And um, I, 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 and do, them, do whatever I do. You know, and go out whatever I go out with and put them plans into motion and make sure everything going well. And they come to the meeting and Bunting say, okay, so everything going according to plan. Burke already go to the NEC and up and um, and um, um, oppose my candidacy. Go to the PMP people and now will start to believe that I am not involved. Okay. So everybody now backing up Marky G. Alright. Ian, you're down a Westland. Um, you, where you pick up, then can be you continue doing your pedophile thing and you and the inter future international scam and then um they meet and them talk about all kind of crap. And Angela, 
Angela Brownberg, she is going to be the biggest loser of all. She just don't know it yet. That she's going to be the biggest loser of all. Because the only power that Angela Brownberg has is the one that she has now. She has all the power in the now. As she control Mark, she follow Bunting's instructions and stuff. But remember this. Angela Brownberg is the most hated woman in this country. She and B and she and Mrs. Holness enjoy that 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 award. But she's more hated than Mrs. Holness. Because she has been around longer. And uh, that, that, while the PMP, while the GLP base, some people in the BM, the GLP base um love Mrs. Holness, the PMP base don't love Angela Brownberg. Don't have mark people, not even mark constituency people may love Angela Brownberg. So when I walk up and down and him and Angela and Ange, Ange, where's Ange? Call Ange for me. Angie, Angie, Ange, <laughs> Ange. Anybody say Ange? Call Ange for me, no? Call Angie for me. Angie. <laughs> so when him and Ange, I walk up and down and she in control of him and she in charge of everything. That is part of the show. She have all the power in there. But that's the only power she has. She now have no power in no constituency anywhere across this country. She can't chat to nobody. She have a one, two people where she have. Who now have no power. Because them can't talk to nobody about talking to she. About nothing about she. Because them not know with her. Everybody knows that she's wicked and evil. And she's a devil. She's a devil spawn. Everybody know that. Yeah, She's Satan spawn. Everybody know that. Everybody don't like Angela Brownberg. And is the like that them don't like Angela Brownberg. It's everything that Angela Brownberg has done for me. Make sure people don't like her. Because she's selfish. And self-indulgent. And self-promoting. And believe. When we were running for vice president. When she was running back for vice president in 2016. And we're talking to a counselor. About supporting her. Him liking her to a cake. Him say, listen to me, Karen. You know, say, me, I come from far and Ray and Tay. Me can't support Angela Brownberg. And he made, he, 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 um, him do it, him like me to a cake. There's a, there's a word for it. Just can't come to me when I'm talking. Sometimes the words, them just slip out and, and leave me. He, he, yes, he, he, he did it in a metaphoric way. He said, let's say we have one big cake as a family. Let's say the whole of the family gather in this one room and we have this one medium sized cake. So I'm saying, and he might point it out to me. Upon the roadside in a semi darkness on the Portland Road, he might point it out to me. And he said, All right, we cut the cake and one person come and take a big piece and go away. And come back again and take a next big piece. And nobody has to take none yet, you know. And that person just spin around again and take a medium piece. And spin around again and take a next medium piece. And spin around again and take a next little piece. Nobody has to get none yet, you know. That is what he, that is how he was liking Angela. Liking Angela. That's the metaphor he was using. As a cake and a family where one person has cut the cake and I eat the whole of the cake. And nobody now get none of the cake. And then he pointed to me, he took up the PMP conference book, he had it in his car. And he showed me um, the PMP conference book. I'm saying, if you're looking at this book, just take one look in the book here, Karen. Me read the conference book, you know. Well, I say, well, I don't read the conference book, I read the reports. That's all I read, I don't go through it. But if you ever look for a conference book here, every committee in the party, Angela Bromberg sits on it. Every commission in the party, everybody in the party, Angela Bromberg sits on it. And then he said, you want to tell me that Angela Bromberg can't recommend some other people to sit on these things? And then he point out again, she's vice president. She is mayor. She is counselor. She is a senator. I mean, him just point out all the things then. How she do a sheer nothing. She do include people. She have people around her. We have follow up and work with her all the time. But she don't promote them. This is just one comrade that tell me why I can't support her. 
him open my eyes that night. But it's not that we never know. We know she's still. We, we know her for the longest time. But when him when him when when he metaphored it like that, it was very, very, very stark. You know, and to some extent driving back in me and the little crew, it was kinda jarring in terms of how him put it. You know? And then we look back upon it. I would remember also when um when the the we lost the local government, when we lost the general election in twenty sixteen. I remember also that Portia was not intent, where well, Portia was intent on not naming her a senator. Portia was hearing the argument because from what I, what I heard and what I gathered was that Portia was saying she have too much something and too much portfolio. Portia was saying that. So as a result of that, we lost the, the general election and Portia was naming back senators and Portia was thinking not to name her back. You know, who had to stand up in there and ensure that she get back her citizenship? I go to one guess. Philip Fiani Paulwell. Oh, yes. It was Philip Fiani Paulwell who had so much influence with Portia who had to sit Portia down and encourage Portia to name her back senator. All in the meantime, she was down at KCC saying that she could resign as vice president if she could get back her citizenship. Oh, yeah. So we know who she is, and we know how she is. The look of power that she has is just in Mark's circle, where she can direct Mark and make things happen. She direct Juan Garden Webley. She have a look of crew. And them not important to her either in terms, it's just what them can get done right now for her. In the long run, they will not be important. When time comes, she will discard of them as well on her way up or down, you know? But at the end of this show, by Bunting Show, Bunting Play, um, I am sure that she's not going to have no great big role to play in it. Because I know she wants to be party leader too. But not even Bunting can speed the delegates to get to elect she for party leader. So that is just so a pipe dream that she has that will never happen. People just don't like her. I hear some people talking against Angela Brownberg now. People so, so close to Mark and Bunting. People close to, to, to Bunting. I'm going to call people name, you know. That's why people free for talk to me. Them, them, them just talk to me, them, uh, them come from country, them drive up and left, you know, them stop by my shop, we have a chat, and buy an ice cream, and we laugh a bit, and we go out with things. I hear people now saying that if somebody should challenge her, challenge her now for, for, for party chairman, she'd probably lose. Unless Bunty never see her or the international scammer and, um, and Skeffrey are going to double the ballots them again and give people double ballots for, for see her. Because um, um, Raymond won the last time. She lost. And then the internet, the future international scammer, Dexroy Martin and Wentzworth Skeffrey. Now them teeth it gear. Double ballots for the, them special people. You know? But the part, the PMP is, is not served well with Angela Brownberg as chairman of the party. Not served well. To have Mark Golden, who seemed to be losing his mind every day, and then to have she as chairman and Dayton Campbell as general secretary. When you put them people there outside of Jamaican people, see them. When we don't tell the Jamaican people them and go on with everything that we need for go on with Jamaican people look upon them good. I don't know what will happen, we don't know. Trust me, I don't know what will happen, we don't know. Because I consider it my duty and responsibility to make sure the Jamaican people see you for who is. Clear. I want the Jamaican people to see all of for for what you all are. I'm not going to make... Dayton Campbell go down uh, Eastern West Palm and go take with um, um, Luther seat. And if Luther give the seat, Luther will never ever have any respect by anybody in this country. Would nev never People lose respect for Luther Buchanan. If Luther Buchanan back off and give Dayton Campbell him seat or something like that, nobody will have any respect for, for, for Luther, Luther Buchanan. I will certainly give it to Luther Buchanan if him back off and make Dayton Campbell take him seat. Uh, <laughs> I tell you. You see, so. None of you, go back to the original argument, none of you have ever understood um, those of you who have gone and become risers and say that, you know, Mark, Mark, Mark do a good job now because Bunting you know, didn't have whisper in him ears anymore. On the delusional. Now, on the gone join the delusional risers. I will Bellevue me case done building that new wing where them building for delusional risers. We can we dine for when we go down there? Yeah, Mark, go check for the building the other day. <laughs> 
But I mean, Bunting and Mark is very much still in love, man. Them relationship going strong. I mean, them, them committing adultery. But I mean, them relationship ship still uh, going going strong. I mean, you know, not now, not now tear them apart. They are business partners and lifelong friends. They have been in love with each other from Wapikil Philip. They now leave each other. But what they have successfully done is to trick on Oh, yeah. Trick the whole on Oh, yeah. Trick on trick on for telling that Bunting. And not now Mark not take advice from Bunting. Mark better damn listen to Bunting. Because it's not Mark. It's not Mark Shaw. This is not Mark Shaw. This is Bunting Shaw. Mark is, um, Mark is not the leading man in this show. Mark is, is the, is the, is the, um, the, the, the star best friend. That, that's what Mark is. You know, the star, best friend, the star of the show, Mark and best friend. Bunting is still very much the star of the show. The man will pull the string be, uh, be, 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 from behind. The man will upstairs so nobody can't see me at the house and no watch their movie there. The man will people don't go hear him voice from the phone but they never see me yet. Them call him the, the, um, the recluse or the elusive Mr. B or the, um, he's a recluse Mr. B. Nobody's him still pulling all the strings, man. Mark is not the leading man. So Bunting is the leading man and Mark is the, is the leading man, the star of the show, best friend. Angela is not the leading lady in the show either. No, 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 no. Angela's not the leading lady. Angela is the lady, is the star in the show, part of the show. She's a part of the star in the show. But she is that woman in the show who the man that makes you feel like she's in charge of something, something important. And um, she's not. And by the time the show comes to an end, she will to discover that she's not really in charge of nothing. Because nobody no like her. And, and she has nobody to back her up. Nobody. Nobody that will stand up and say, yeah, Angela, this. No, 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 no. Not even people from South, um, from Southwest, um, St. Andrew, not going to do that. Not even people from our former division going to do that after what she did to Philip Paulwell. So, I thought that I better let this known to know that Bunting is still in charge for those of you who went and support Mark because you, know, you were all told that Bunting not in charge of nothing anymore. It's a lie. It's a damn lie. It's a dirty stinking lie. And when I use the word stink, don't think I'm talking, I'm calling anybody stink. It's just a word. It's just, you know, it's a phrase. You know? It's, it's, it's a dirty stinking lie. It's, it's a lie. Hmm? Not no gossip. A, a Bunting show. A Bunting thing. A Bunting people them. All of them in there. A Bunting people them. Once again, let me tell you, Mark has no people. And all the shenanigans that Paul Burke in there go out with him and um, him and his wife, um, that's the only thing them can go out with because them not have no power anywhere else. How much time I got tell you? No? The man them still have work hard to control the PMP. They they have not been successful in controlling the PMP. What they have control of, um, soundly have control of, is the leadership of the PMP. Them can't chat to the PMP people them in the communities. And if you think, if you believe that come the general elections, Mark and Bunting and Angela and Dayton can inspire or motivate the PMP base to come out, come vote for Mark Golden, or not have another think coming. So those authentic PMP candidates and, 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 and current MPs know what they do. I'm sure they know what they do. Although some PMP people out there complain to me, say the whole of the authentic PMP, they mean they back up Mark. I said, yeah, I know. They have to back him up. Them, them have to in there back him up. There's nothing else they can do. They can't do nothing right now. So leave them and back him up. But had, had the country, had a percentage of the country, not being so upset with Mr. Holness. Only we'll be weeping and, and mourning and wailing right now in this local government result. And in spite of the fact that Mark Golden went all out, go across the country about 25 times to introduce himself, in spite of the fact that he was running a general election, he lost. He couldn't motivate the PMP base to come out. 
him could motivate them, him could inspire them to come out. And he lost. He lost local government election. And if it was a general election, he still would have lost. So I mean, six or one half a dozen the other. And if him couldn't do that for a small election, if him couldn't do that, look at the big crowds. Look at the big crowds that show up on nomination day. Huh? I now know that a good majority of those crowds were part of the new voters base. The people them who never who were youngsters who were underage when Mr. Oldis became prime minister. So they blame him for their lot in life now. And they came out to show support for the PMP because a good a good percentage of them remember. You know, when I did the constituency um, profiles, when I did that analysis for each constituency, like Natalie and 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 Denny's and and and, and um uh the next one name again and you Graham, when I those three, you see those three constituencies, them have the PMP numbers, them have them have them have the people that who numerate come from PMP enclaves. Those are the people that showed up to vote against Brogard. Them on a PMP base, you know, them just dip on the voters list. Them on a PMP base because nobody never enumerate them. Nobody don't engage them. Nobody don't talk to them. Nobody never care them go enumerate. Nobody don't look for them. Nobody don't even know who they are. Them just enumerate. And them live in some PMP communities. And they went out to vote against the boy Brogard. That's what one you tell me the other day. Boy, I'm going to go vote against the boy Brogard. Who you vote for? You know what say, um... You know, so the man there, the man there over, um, why well, would the place him again? Mr. Weir. Over, um, Mr. Weir live. Oh, where me? Yeah. Yeah, Marvel, me live, you know. But all of them vote. Oh, because I know it's Marvel live. Yeah, but all of them vote. So, Mr. Where you vote? Um, the place, the man. The place, the man. No, me don't know what I'm about, you know. Because I'm cross to get a Marvel in vote, you know. But he went out and to vote against the boy, bro, God. So, I'm saying. I tell him, say, him can always say the boy, bro, God, but in my reference to the Prime Minister, him should say the Prime Minister out of respect, even if him not like him. You know, but then the voting public can call them, 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 them leaders anything they want. As far as I'm concerned, them can call them anything they want. So they can sit down in there thinking that this is not Bunting Show. This is Bunting Show. And um, very much still the, the puppet master in all of this. And, um, and all of you are going to be I'm gravely disappointed to hear that he's still bunting show and Mark is just the, the, the star best friend and the star um, in a hospital or something. So he might go and carry on until the star get back on his feet. <laughs> so that's basically what. So I just want to end this by telling you all, yeah, Bun let me repeat again, bunting and Mark still there. Them still married. Yeah, but them just are uh, do them separate things. They have an open relationship now. <laughs> them can't hang out and sleep with anybody they want. <laughs> Lord, them Jamaica, dear Jesus, only you can. Thank you for listening to my rant. God bless you all. Stay safe, everybody. And please remember, keep the children safe. All right? And, um, oh shit, I should, I should tell you something else before. I did a video about our education, about the curriculum of the of the school the school curriculum but particularly those in grade from from three year old to six year old from three to six those those the, the toddlers the the kindergarten the preschoolers three to six so i did a, did a, i did a video voice note uh making subject suggestions as to how we can up our game as a country in terms of educating our youngsters from an early age and how we can do that i am I'm asking all of you to check it out all right, just just check it out and pass it on to educators and the people who are responsible for these things, and encourage them to to look at look at these ideas. All right, so God bless you. Stay safe. Keep your children safe.